Shabbat Shalom. So today we are going to uh, study the look at the parasha Chai, which is the, the death of Sarah, the wife of Abraham. This is the, the fifth parasha after the parasha Vayera. And in this parasha we are going to study the death of Sarah, but also the seeking of the bride for, Eli for Isaac and the generation of Abraham. This is the, the contain of this parasha. So first of all, we learn here the death of Sarah. She died with 127 years of age. And uh, if you want to have the details, you will have to go in my my blog because here in the in the blog I give some details concerning the Hebrew words and why it is interesting to know what's happened with the death of uh, Sarah. So I encourage you to go to this uh, blog and to read the parasha which I wrote. I think it's uh, three years ago, and you, are, you will have much more details. Okay. So today uh, we just say that uh, Sarah was 127 years old and that she dies in Kiria Tabar, which is the land of the giant. Okay, so the four giant. This is the term of these Hebrew words. So, and after that, <coughs> Abraham would take his uh, servant, <coughs> excuse me, and send him to seek a, a bride for his son Isaac. This is one parasha which, which is very interesting because here we learn something Moshe will speak later when he commanded the children of Israel not to marry with pagans or with uh, people from other nations, although in other terms with other belief. Here we see Abraham who told his servant to go to his kindred to take a bride from there. And what is interesting is that his kindred were idolaters. So this is a very interesting point, point because Abraham told his servant not to take a, a woman or the bride from the Canaanites. But he sent his servant to his kindred who were idolaters. This do not stop Abraham to choose from his kindred. So in the literal text, we have just this information. But as we learn in the interpretation of the Torah, in the fourth levels of the Torah, which is called, this interpretation is not from Judaism. It is an interpretation which is valid since the first century at least, because we see uh, people like uh, Shaul, Paul, or Yohanan, John, or even uh, Yaakov, speaking in these uh, terms and using this interpretation to explain some things, to make a midrash, a teaching. So, this Pardes has a four level. The first one is the pay for the Peshat, which is a literal interpretation of the Torah. This means I read and I understand what is written. So this is the first level. Then we have the remes, which is the air from the Pardes. And the remes gives us a hint to something which is in the future. Then we have a day for the drash. The drash is a teaching we will learn from this parasha. And then we have the S, which is for the sword. The sword is a mystery of the Torah. Well, I know that uh, some will say that there is a mystery in the Torah. But if we look in the Psalm, we see that uh, uh, Elohim speaks about mystery. And this mystery, this mystery he revealed to those who seek him. So this is the first level of the interpretation of the Pardes. Pesha, Remes, Drash, and so. 
and we will see in the text that we have a lot to learn if we dig into the Torah. Now we go into the, the chapter 24 from uh, Bereshit or the Genesis and uh, we're going to look at this, uh, this situation when Abraham sent his servant to his uh, kindred. First of all, you will not find the name of the servant in this parasha, which is something very interesting. But we know that the, from other parasha, that the servant's name is Eliezer. Eliezer means God is help, or the help of God, or the help of Elohim, El. So here we see a servant which will faithfully follow the instruction of the Father. He will not do anything what he did on his own, but he will do exactly what his master has taught him. And uh, Eliezer was adopted like a son. We see that in, a, in, a, in another parasha, when the term is used, son. I have acquired a son, and this son was uh, Eliezer. It was before anything, before the birth of uh, uh, Ishmael. So he was the son of Abraham. And uh, he will go to uh, Bethuel and uh, visit him to seek the bride. So the first level you are able to read it yourself. You will see the situation, you will see the traveling of, uh, of the servant, you will see how he seek the bride, you will see that he find the bride, you, you will see that he met the brother from uh, the bride which is Laban. We see Laban appear in another parasha and we see that uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the sister of Laban, whose name is Rivka, will accept to follow the, uh, the servant of Abraham. So I will try to give you a small insight into this parasha, because it's very important. The Torah, the Torah, is the very word of Yehovah. It is brought to Moshe by the Ruach, the spirit of Yehovah. It's not a simple word, black ink on a white paper. It is, when we read the Torah, we read the very word coming out of the mouth of Elohim. So this is very important to understand, because this word, they have power, power to transform our life. So this is why we study the parasha. The parasha, to read the parasha is not a tradition. It was practiced in the, in the first century, in the time of Yeshua. We read, if you, would, if you look into the book of Acts, chapter 15, you will see that uh, the parasha is read, the parasha the Moshe is read every Shabbat in the assembly. So this is what I encourage you, to read the parasha, to pray for revelation knowledge, to pray for the spirit of this sermon. Here we have actors in this parasha. The first actor is Abraham. The second is a servant. The third is a, the maid, Rivka. And these all have a function. In the sword, this is a story of Elohim sending the Ruach to seek a bride for his son, Yeshua. Abraham is a picture of Elohim. El the servant, Eliezer, is a picture of the Ruach. And uh, Isaac, waiting for the bride, is a picture of Yeshua. And uh, Rivka is a picture of the assembly. You may be surprised when you hear that. But if you study the text in this context, you will see that there is a deeper meaning and that what has been, it is what will be the same. There is no change, there is no difference. We have not learned the way to read the Torah. This is why today we lack too much from the interpretation. The, the book of Malachi tells us 
that the just shall live by his faith. 